Hey, what is up YouTube? It is Matty and welcome to another episode in the Emphatic Clan War series. So apologies on not having a video uploaded for like the best part of a week. <laughs> I've been, uh, we, yeah, got a lot of stuff on really. It's obviously the lead up to Christmas. You can see by the war log that we've we've been winning wars. I mean, these are all pre-update, uh, pre-Christmas update. So this war might have even been sort of start of November. I really can't remember. I've got a few recorded now that I need to catch up on. And a few recordings I've lost, actually. Like, um, uh, the, our last war, be mainly because of the updates, it just wipes all the war logs on the previous war. So sometimes it's hard for me to keep to get everyone um, as and when the war happens to record all the videos. But, uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a shame. But I'm going to carry on uploading these Emphatic Clan War series. And the, I suppose we've got, uh, there's been a lot of changes. Uh, one of the best or a couple of best bits of news that have happened with us, um, we're just uh, continually improving. We did get beat quite hard by a clan. And it just really shook us a little bit and inspired us to, uh, to improve and to take it to a new level. I've been looking at new strategies even, uh, Goho, Holloweewee all that sort of thing so if you haven't heard those before um i'm gonna be doing some special feature videos on them very soon to show you really what the what they are because um it's an absolute they're absolutely awesome war strategies to be honest and it, it's just i think um it's about time that i sort of extended what we just going past go, uh, go well go wee wee and um that sort of thing because war and I'm, I also want to sort of invest a bit later on into uh, the well Lavunian or Lavalunian or whatever it's called whatever you people call it this raid not the best sort of um, hog raid that I've seen it's pr pretty much you just sort of threw them all in and, and hope for the best did a good job in taking t care of the town hall though and there was no queen he had to worry about, which the queen's normally the one that ruins the raids uh, for, for hog raids anyway. But you see the hogs have just torn through the defences and now all he has to do is worry about taking down that king, which if he places his heroes at the top, maybe, uh, that might be enough to, to take the king down. Or no, he's gone for the king on the left and the right hand side, maybe, king definitely on the right. Uh, but it looks like he's cleared it for a nice three, sorry. Anyway, throwing the clan castle up there. Um, quite a late deployment for the clan castle. Queen's on the left. There she goes. Look, with the clan castle, take down the king. And it's going to be a nice, easy three star anyway. So, a uh, pretty good raid by Bob on this one. He uh, got us a nice three star. Now, yeah, I'm hoping that we're going to start bringing some more. The wars have got a lot more intense, not going to lie. I mean, you can see we've sort of been mustering our way through up to this point. Um, but I think it's really time that we start taking it, get, I suppose, just win, really thinking about our strategies and uh, and doing that. That's, that's what we've been doing lately, but we'll uh, we'll see uh, how that pans out anyway. I'm ri and this is a raid by Monster, you can see. Um, monsters, monsters adapted bringing in the giants into his raids. Much like that of uh, Venaris in our clan, who, uh, who initially it's Gogi Wee Wee, I think <laughs> he calls it, or Goji Wee Wee. I don't know how you you'd pronounce it, uh, but you can see here he does a really good job. Nice heal placement to keep all those troops alive, breaking into the core, rage down as well. Kept the jump spell, and that's going to be key in a few seconds when uh, he uses the jump spell to break out of the core, which he's just done. Got the giants out there onto all those three compartments he's opened up. And boom, it's really opened up this raid into a three-star possibility. I love a nice go, Wee Wee. But I've got to be honest, I'm really sort of invested in getting mastering this hollow Wee Wee and that sort of thing. But the problem is at the moment, um, there's not really many op opportunities for me to, to make best use of it in the wars. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes down anyway. May, I'm, I'm just thinking how, how I'm going to be able to, to showcase it to you guys. But I will. And yeah, I, su I suppose I've got a new iPad. I didn't expect to get one. I didn't purchase it myself. My uh, my dad bought it me for Christmas. As I said, I really didn't expect it. I think he got a good deal on at work or something. And uh, but what it means is that I'm I'm <laughs> I've now got two two mobile devices I can carry around with me all, at all times and play Clash on, which means I'm now sort of an active leader in both the the normal elite clan, which is what you can see here, and the emphatic farm clan as well. So if you guys want to come and see, want to chat, want to, I don't know, test your skill, see how you fare up against, um, or even I've had people come and just watch uh, the Emphatic Wars. Um, 
I don't, I don't, I won't let too many people come in at a time to, to watch that, watch our wars because it sort of distracts from um, the job at hand, if you will. Um, but yeah, you know, come and, come and chat to us guys in farm, see how we're doing. I'm normally online quite a lot now these days. I'm trying, it's, I've got um, a sort of a, not a premi, but a, a noobish town hall eight. I'm trying to get that up to, uh, to, to max as, as quickly as I can now. I had to, I've got the fourth builder. Haven't got my fifth one yet. I'm honestly, guys. I, it, it's so weird being back to a like a, a, a four builder scenario. I just want I want them back. <laughs> um, anyway, PewDiePie, our signature Valkyrie raider. He's um, he was been doing a great job in um, smashing up some Valkyrie three stars. Um, you can see by this raid that jump spell was really key, I believe, because it opened up four compartments I think in total and just when you can do that this is a pro tip for you, pro tip <laughs> this is a tip for you if you can get into um, if you can save your jump spell for when you get out to get you out of the core instead of into it I've probably said this to you guys a few times but listen to it because if you like that jump spell opened up those four compartments and just let the troops power through the rest of the raid if that wasn't there I can pretty much guarantee the mortars would have killed all the witches and wizards and it would have just been raid over but it wasn't the jump spell was good and it got him through now a different flavor for you a bit of Aziz our um one of our token town or 10 guys he's uh yeah, looks like he's going to be putting some work in on this um, sort of premature tunnel eight, tunnel ten. I said tunnel eight then because he's got tunnel eight sort of level defences, uh, mostly with a couple of infernos. Not even any a couple of sorry expos, no infernos. So yeah, he's thrown in healers into the army. I haven't seen healers used, especially in war, in like years. I don't think. Look at that second wave of wizards as well. I, I, I think Aziz is one of the only people I see that does that these days, throwing a second deployment of wizards. Um, I don't even know if it's a good, good or a bad strategy, to be honest. Uh, but they're um, they're, they're going to go in and sort of help out now, uh, it looks like. So we've got the heal spell there while they're breaking out of the core by the look of it. Maybe a jump spell might have been good as well. Um, but who am I to comment when someone three stars a base at how they could have done it better or how I would have done it? Because everyone's individual, everyone has their own strategies. I wouldn't tell anyone to only do things this way. You know, it's a clash of clans. It, once you start properly getting into it um, and learning all these new strategies, and pra you'll find your own niche, you'll find your own way of doing things, and all these strategies come about because people experiment. And I'd always say that experiment with your army strategies, with your army compositions, plan out bases really well. That's the what. That's the main thing I've really learned in the last couple of weeks um, is planning your raids and planning where the troops are going to go, how you're going to get that three star because it's so easy to get a two star. Now I've done videos on go wipe and that sort of thing, and go wipe's okay, but I will never recommend it in war because. From my point of view, is it's a two-star strategy. Peckers will get stuck somewhere. They'll get hammering a wall. They'll do something, and they'll their health will go down, and eventually they will die. Um, and more often than not, go wee wee. The fact that the witches can regenerate skeletons and do that sort of thing, it gets a much better dispersing. But I've look at this anyway. Look at that for a um, a widespread. One golem on the far left, one golem on the far right, and one on the top. Now, I would not have done that because I've got my own thoughts and my own theories and my own strategies in raiding. But if you've got to admit, looking at it, at him taking all those defences down and then powering through those troops in the top to get into the core and everything's rushing in now, even without, queen, without king, sorry, this raid seems to have been an absolute stroke of genius in my view. Now I'd have taken a lightning because at the right by the dark storage you can see they're getting hammered um, and hopefully at this point Ryan's thinking hopefully my troops are going to break into the core and I think they're going to very soon and if they do th that means he's on for a three star. Now good bit of advice as well Core, the the core is a good place for you to throw your rage down. Uh, if you've brought, I'd always advise bringing one at least one rage into a go wee wee raid, um, or a variant of it. And if you get, if you get, if you only got one, the core is the place you want to do it right now. Ryan, 
throw that bloody rage down. What are you doing? I don't even know. <laughs> oh, he's got it down on the right hand side. For me, again, uh, I wouldn't have done that, but. And then the jump spell was spot on though. Look, right on that Tesla, right in the middle, open up all those compartments, the rest of his troops can go down. Now, I think this raid could have gone a lot better. I think um, based on that Golem deployment, I was quite happy with it in the end. I mean, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have thought to do it, but he did, and that's great. Um, but I think the raid could have been one easier than it was. It seemed a bit forced at the end, I think, uh, but it, got, it did it. Now, look at this. Um, Seb going in for a, a nice raid on a Town Hall 9. Now... I'm hoping he's going to get a bit of funneling going here, which he is doing. Look, he's throwing those wizards down the left and the right to guide the witches and the skeletons and everything into the core. Now, that rage spell, again, maybe a little bit misplaced. Could have done with being a little bit lower. There's a lot going on right now. I can't even tell what he's thinking. <laughs> but he has got max heroes. He's not using a lightning spell. It looks like a lot of troops are dying there, in my point of view. But here comes the second wave of wizards, you can see in the top now. And in go should go the king and queen shortly, you would hope. Um, but the wizards and the skeletons, the, I mean, look how much damage they took from one bomb they did then from a mortar blast. That's, the, that's, a, that's risky, that is. I don't know what he's doing with his heroes. Where where are they? Um, I haven't, as you can tell, I haven't really watched these raids. This, in my view, is not the best attack. I don't, I don't know. If, has he forgot about his heroes? Is he hoping to get the get everything done without them and then use them right at the end? Look at all the death happening in the middle right now. Here, here come the heroes. Wee, bottom left, bottom yeah. Now, he only he's gonna know if this was planned or not. Um, but for me. It looked like he forgot his heroes and thought, shit, I forgot my heroes, I'm going to throw them in anyway. But maybe <laughs> maybe he might take the stance of, nah, Matt, of course I planned that, uh, what are you on about? But I will, I will never know the truth, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, with level 40 heroes, them going into the core, he's still got a golem alive. It's looking likely that we're going to get the three star here. Um, I think it's more a sheer firepower um, raid sort, sort of thing. Delivery and execution, I wouldn't rate very highly. So don't, take this raid with a, a pinch of salt, please. And yeah, you'll notice as well that the, the health changes haven't been sort of applied yet because this is all pre-update, pre-Christmas update, I believe, from my memory. So this, uh, maybe, yeah, because I think the spell factory's got a lot more health than that now. We'll see on. The, tell you what, the best way to check is we'll see on the army camp because now. Uh, post update the army camps have got as much health as a builder hut thereabouts which is quite interesting um it makes it's a complete you can lightning spell a, a, an army camp now before you couldn't even get uh, one of the high, higher health buildings in the game to be honest um but yeah look at the archers the archers how little damage they're doing on that camp so this is all pre update so apologies if you only want to see post update content but you know what i've got loads of videos saved them don't want them to go to waste and it's a good it was a good war to be able to highlight and show you back and and we'll pick some stuff up and learn from it um but yeah in total these are these are the stats from this clan war six three stars six two stars and three one stars so not too bad in the end, and the most heroic attack was actually Van Vanaris Van. Um, so we're going to have a have a look at this. Taking on a max channel, t not a max channel ten, sorry. Taking on a town hall ten with lot with the uh, Lunian. I, I didn't even realise he'd done this. I don't think. I don't know if I watched it. Hmm. What's he going to do? I'm just wondering how he's going to do this now. Yeah, he did a good job there of doing the loon suicide to take down the troops, uh, take down the clan castle troops. He's cl clearly clearing a pathway in. I'm imagining he's going to go for that core soon. Uh, I, I don't know how he's going to take... Oh, the infernos, look, they've gone down. And now it's a, um, the, the heroes are going in. Uh, it's only a sort of a multi-mode inferno left. And that's not going to do much damage to level 30 heroes, is it, guys? So, <laughs> nice two-star in the end uh, by Van. So, I'm glad I was able to squeeze that video in at the end um, and show you that one. So, not too close, but not, not the, the greatest war. But I hope you've learned something. I hope you've enjoyed me coming back onto the YouTube scene. And as always, guys, I always love to hear what you think. Let me know your videos. Let me know your thoughts on what I've said. And, yeah, keep, keep it up, guys. And I'll uh, see you on the next one.